Hello, this is Abby Tweet, and this is Baseball Before 1880. It is a national pastime. The invention of baseball was in the 18th century. It is a combination of two early English games, one called Rounders, which was a children's game brought to America by the early colonists from England, and then the other was cricket. The American Revolution was a turning point for baseball. Union soldiers used to play the game in a Confederate prison war camp in North Carolina during the Civil War. Baseball had evolved to an organized sport in the 1840s and 1850s. By 1866, baseball was well known as the nation's pastime. Abner Doubleday created a concept of baseball in, in 1839. Abner Doubleday was a Union Major General in the American Civil War and later became a lawyer and a writer. In 1839, he claimed to have nothing to do with baseball. It was one that he created the diamond. He was the one that created a diamond-shaped infield and rules of the strikes and the foul lines of the game. So the conclusions of who invented baseball are unclear to, to many, but by the historic events and journals, it is claimed to be Abner Doubleday. The origin of where it came from, where baseball came from, is Cooperstown, New York in the early 1800s where the National Hall of Fame of the Muse the National Hall of Fame Museum where it is still in use now. Now new modern day rules of baseball. Alexander Joy Cartwright, the father of modern day baseball, uh, he played with a group of voluntary firefighters. He was a founding member of the Knickerbocker Baseball Club, one of the baseball one of the first baseball clubs of America. He since he systemized a new set of rules to make the game safer for uh, for many to play, for others to play. These rules differentiated the game from games like cricket and rounders. It is a game, it is the game, it is the, how it made the game more fast paced and more of a challenging, uh, more of a challenging game. And it clearly differentiated from older games. In 1845, Cartwright wrote the rules of baseball on paper. It is the earliest known record of written rules for baseball. Baseball, the game as we know it now, gradually replaced the chaos of town ball with more ordered and rational approach. Now the professional teams, the Brooklyn Athletics, Atlantics, excuse me, the Brooklyn Atlantics dominated early baseball by winning championships in 1861, 1864, and 1865. The Atlantics usually crushed their competition, scoring two or three more times runs there were two or three more times, two or three times more runs than their opponents. This was where the game, this was when the game was more of an amateur sport. According to the rules of the National Association the base of baseball players, athletes could not accept wages to play ball. Although gifts and jobs were sometimes offered as a means of compensation. In 1869 was when professional baseball started. The Cincinnati Red Stockings were the first professional baseball team. Founded in 1866, the, the Cincinnati Red Sox seemed to join the National Association of Baseball Players. In 1869 was when they were established as a professional team. They played their first game against an opposing club on May 4th in 1869. Harry Wright was the manager for the team. However, he was also the center fielder. So we kind of had a double role on the team. A lot of responsibility. <laughs> the National League was founded in 1876. In a meeting with other owners of other professional teams, they established a league to obtain order of, a base, of baseball in the country because the game could get so out of hand without the rules. And so they set a league, a set a, a covering over the whole game so that there was more order to the game. The owner of the Chicago White Stockings William Holbert became the president of the National League. See, baseball is not only an outlet for, uh, from tensions from the tensions of life, it is also a means of relaxation and fun for the average American person. Each game was filled with social drama, full of excitement and suspense. It was an opportunity for players and spectators alike to express themselves freely and just to have fun for the game of baseball.